Hi there, this is Jackie, your Authentic Influence Coach. Ever heard the saying that different strokes work for different folks? Now, in this particular video, you're in for the treat. Now, because I'm about to show you specifically how is it possible for you to cater to the different needs of your prospects just simply by identifying, first of all, their unique uh, buying patterns, their decision-making strategies, now so that you are able to adapt to their style of communication, their motivation strategy, and increase your chances of influencing them. Now, more importantly, to be able to influence them in a very authentic manner, not having to resort to manipulation or trying to convince them in an unethical manner. So it's just a very simple tool today called Meta Programs. Now, what are Meta Programs? So if you really want to take your influence to the next level, you need to understand what Meta Programs are. Now, in short, it refers to a set of uh, motivation patterns that every one of us here use, right, in making decisions in life. You know, in fact, how many of you want to make a guess? What do you think is the number one barrier that causes people to uh, not connect and be effective influencers in our day-to-day -day life. What is the number one barrier? Anyone? Language. language. Quite close. Now, why language? Because of there's no. Yeah. So in a way, there's no. Yeah. There's no connection. Right? There's no. It means to say what? Have you ever said to someone before? Sometimes I can't communicate with that person because we don't have the same frequency. You know what I mean by same frequency. Now, in the same way, what do you today I'm here to share with you that every one of us here has a frequency that we need to be able to deal with. Because at the end of the day, you can forget whatever I share today, just remember this. Different strokes work for different folks. Everyone repeat after me. Different strokes, different strokes work for different folks. Now there are a total of almost like more than 10 meta programs. In fact, you can even find in my best selling book, Increase Your Sales with NLP. But then we're just going to share with you two, which I believe just by applying them, you can see instant results. Because my clients have been able to see that, I'm sure you're able to see that as well. Now, the first meta program that I'm going to share with you has got something to do with revolve around this question that many people have to ask me whenever I go into organizations to train the CEOs, leaders, managers. They have to ask me this question Jack, do you think we should use the carrot or the stick? What's your answer? Don't know. What's your answer? Who says it's a carrot? Or who says it's a stick? You know the typical, uh, for our friend in Mongolia, you know what's the typical Singaporean answer? I don't know, it depends. <laughs> we like to stand in the fence, right? So it depends because how many of you know that uh, every one of us here, by the way, is wired by two major forces, right? To make any decision in our life. The means if you're doing sales, you've got to understand that if your consumer, your prospects are ever going to buy from you, there are only two reasons. How many reasons? Two. You know what are the two reasons? Write this down, the two P's. First of all, the need to avoid pain. Everyone says pain. Pain. And the other one is the need to gain pleasure. Say pleasure. Now, we call this in meta programs, we call this your direction sort. Now, which means there are people, if there are those who will go towards pleasure, we call these two of people are the towards kind of people. What about people who are the pain averse kind? We call them what? The away from kind of person. Now, say, Jack, how does this going to help me in becoming a better influencer? Now, I remember that was about a couple of years ago, uh, well, actually, it's more than a decade ago. When I first started selling, you know, I joined this uh, business that was doing, uh, how many heard of network marketing before? You know, basically, you know, what is network marketing all about? You know, in a nutshell, it's about going there, right, there, to find people, right, who see your vision, and then they start to share it with other people. Now, theoretically, is it actually quite easy, or not? And how many of you don't think you have five friends to share? <laughs> we all have five friends to share. But you know what? When I started to sell and do all my presentations, I was very, very frustrated. In my early years, I said, how come I was not getting the conversion that I want? I was doing a lot. Now, a lot of people will tell you that doing sales is what? Going by large numbers. Yes or yes. But how many realize that sometimes going by large numbers, you still don't get the result you want? Now, until one day I discover what this meta program is really all about. When I started to change my approach of selling, that made a whole lot of difference for me. And today, I share this with many, many of my clients. They've applied it and seen 
instant results as well. So looking back again at direction sort, how does it make a difference? Do you think that when you're approaching a client who is a towards versus away from, your approach will be very different? So, you see, last time when I was sharing about my presentation, I was constantly sharing about them about all the benefits. We should also know that benefits are important, right? Don't share features. But even sharing the benefits was not enough until I started sharing the pain points. Now, for example, let me ask you a question. Is there a difference if I say, hey, financial freedom versus financial security? Is there a difference? Actually, there's a difference. Some of you might think it's the same, right? Actually, there's a difference. To a uh, to one person, financial freedom will make a lot of sense to them. But for away from financial security, you're not going to get that. It's going to appeal to them. So in other words, we help people to identify, first of all, to be able to study what kind of meta programs does their prospect belong to. Or maybe let's say you're a leader in an organization. How can I manage one of my team members better? What is their, what's the way that they're being wired? Then we craft a script, a way of communicating to this person so that it will appeal to that person. Need. Does it make sense to you so far? Yes? Alright, now let's move on to the next one. Oh, by the way, write this down. This is very, very powerful. In fact, you know what? Uh, over the years, I began to discover also something about pleasure and pain. It says, do you know that 80% of decisions that most of us here make in our life, right? Is what? It's a result of an unconscious need to avoid pain. Only 20% the desire to gain pleasure. Now I want you to notice very carefully what do you notice here in this quote here. Notice something? Do you notice something? We talk about pain and pleasure again, but how do you realize that pain is what? Not just 80%. Pain is also unconscious. Now, for example, I'll give you an example. Just now, just when Jasmine right, was sharing about the products, we're talking about all the good things that the oil can do, right? But is it the pleasure or the pain? Now, consider how you can change your scripting, right? That it starts to appeal to the pain point. I'll tell you what, you're slightly going to get a higher conversion ratio. Now, you just got to put it to test to see the results for yourself. All right? So, very powerful concept here. Now, next, let's move on to this. How many of you here can see more similarities? Raise your hands. See, I, how many of you? How many say more differences? It's very different. What about the rest? Half, half, right? Okay. Now, you know, there was a research done. They did the same test, right? When people were asked about, do you see more similar differences within this diagram? You know, this was actually what was being concluded. There are basically five groups of people. First group of people will say what? They tend to see only stakers. So there are people who say that totally the same one. Then there are, you know what? 50% will say what? Most likely you are the 50%, right? And they will say, okay, quite same, but some difference. Now, you know what? There are also what? People who will say what? There are difference, you know, with stakers equally. Then, let's just look at the percentage there. Now, what I'm trying to say here is this. We all have different ways of sorting out the things that we see in our life. One of which is we turn them as what? The people who like to see things that match. Now, the other group of people like to see things as what? Being mismatched. Now, again, do you think knowing if this person is a natural versus mismatcher can make a difference in how you try to convince and convert the person? How? Anyone has an idea? Now for matchers, right, by the way, you can tell them, basically, do you know, i just give you an example, because I like Jasmine's product, right? So, do you know that why many people actually invest in this product? Alright, now this will actually work very well for a matcher. But if you're talking about this matcher, every time you tell them, right, okay, this is the reason. You know what they will say instantly? You have met this kind of people, right? They will say, oh yeah, but, have you met this kind of consumers before? Now, how do you handle the part? Very simple. You do the reverse psychology. Okay, this is just one of the many, many methods that we say. Uh, so, Jesse probably will say something like, do you know, uh, by the way, you can see clearly some of the benefits of using these products. And do you know why there are people who will never invest in this product? So, you use the reverse, like, do you never? I'll tell you what, because these are people who have not. So, notice the words I use, the linguistics that make a difference. I changed the, I added the word not, it makes a whole lot of difference. 
So all in all, right, when you start to learn how to identify the different kind of meta programs, motivation patterns of your clients, you can start to learn how to motivate them and convert them in the natural way, in a very authentic way, rather than trying to force your ideas across. Does it make sense to you? Alright, good. So uh, with that.